everybody? Hey, it's Russell, and I wanted to talk to you about being comfortable in a hammock. Wait, not this hammock. This hammock. They call this a gathered-in hammock. That's where the sheet, the thin sheet, gathers at both ends of the hammock here and then it is tied off to a tree, pole, whatever you want to, uh, hard surface that you want to use. But this right here, because of the extra material, allows you to go ahead and lay in a flat position diagonally across the hammock. Which is all very comfortable depending on the weather that you're dealing with. Now, a lot of times I hear uh, that folks end up uh, getting cold in a gathered in hammock because if, if you look at the material, it is actually very thin and it's designed to be in, uh, it's really comfortable in warm summer weather. Early, late spring, early fall, that period of time is when uh, these hammocks are very useful, especially in the backcountry, uh, at the park, at the beach, Anywhere uh, these are quick to string up because they come in a very small package, right? Well, I have something that I'd like to show you that will actually extend the season of this particular hammock. It's not that very big and it is actually extremely comfortable because there's more than one way to be comfortable in a gathering hammock. <laughs> First off, let's talk about why you get cold in a gathered in hammock. Well, it's really simple. Now, because the material is so thin, uh, it doesn't take much but a cool breeze to blow past you and that air rushing underneath the hammock itself is um, wicking away all that heat from your body. So as you lie in your hammock or you sit in it here, anytime there's a cool breeze, it's going to take away and just suck heat away from you. So that's why in the summertime, these feel great because you feel nice and cool inside them. But when it gets a little bit colder, a couple things you could do to prevent uh, getting what we call cold butt syndrome, all right, in a gathered in hammock is one, you could create a barrier between you and the wind. So that means dressing appropriate, right? What a lot of folks do, a lot of backpackers, because these are really small and compact do, is we will put a sleeping pad inside of the hammock. And by doing so, it will, uh, just like protecting you from the ground, cold uh, temperature, it'll protect you from the wind, that uh, creating a barrier between you and uh, the wind itself. But there is a disadvantage with using a sleeping pad in a, in a hammock. Let me show you. Throw it inside your hammock. You let it inflate. Well, one of the things you got to consider about is that this particular, any sleeping pad, has a finite amount of space that it occupies within your hammock. So if uh, you were to backpack with a, a sleeping pad and your feet are off the sleeping pad, well, guess what? You're going to get cold feet. If your arms hang off the sleeping pad, you're going to get cold arms. So hikers, backpackers, we all understand that uh, same concept is we try to maintain our bodies centered on the sleeping pad. Well, the problem you have in a hammock is that the perfect position in a hammock is not straight. It's actually in an angle. So when you lay in a sleeping pad on a hammock, you're gonna run into the issue of adjusting the sleeping pad to your body position. And because it's actually inside the hammock with you, you're gonna constantly have to adjust and shift and push 
your sleeping pad to maintain Yeah. Now let me talk to you about another solution I have. Now, the other solution are known as quilts, under quilts and over quilts. We're gonna talk about the under quilt right now. And, and what I happen to have is an under quilt from Ayamaya. They reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try one of these out for them, and I graciously agreed. Now, I'm gonna tell you what I think about it and how well it works, and at the end we'll, we'll talk about is it worth even having to talk to you. So let's go ahead and put this thing up and see how it looks. All right, so the underquilt is packed in here like a sleeping bag. And you just simply take it out of its case. It's going to have two sides to it. So the sleeping quilt has, underquilt, I mean, has two elastic bungee sides to either end. And it comes with two carabiners for you to secure it and it goes up just as simple you just click on one end of your tree strap and place this on the other end tree strap. you take your hammock and place it inside of the quilt So, centering it, and there you have it. Now, you notice how far down the, uh, the quilt goes, and that is so that there is a air pocket between the hammock itself and the quilt. Think of it like wearing a down jacket. That down jacket uh, is actually inflated or lofted up with a lot of the goose feathers, synthetic fibers, cotton, whatever the filling is. But because of that air space, it creates heat and your body heat keeps the down jacket warm. Under quilts and over quilts work the exact same way, is that they are designed to create a, a pocket of heat between the outside elements and your body. And so you need to have this layer of space. Now, when you get inside one of these bad boys, you jump inside just like you would any other way. I'm just gonna get in here and hang out in your hammock. Don't worry about the under quilt. You can adjust how far it uh, it goes on your hammock by using the adjustable straps there uh, on the bungees. But really, what your main concern is, you wanna make sure that it is actually uh, below your body and wrapped around your, your hammock. So what this is now uh, effectively doing is it is creating a barrier from the wind on all sides of the hammock. My feet are protected because my head is protected and I can adjust myself in any position I want as long as the underquilt maintains its position underneath the hammock, creating that air pocket. So when the wind's blowing, I have a, I have a thin barrier between me and the outside elements. If you're looking for something to actually extend your seasons, uh, now this is considered a three season uh, under quilt. If you're looking for something to extend your season, having like early spring or even a late fall uh, method to keep warm inside a hammock because you're thinking about going backpacking and you're, con and you're concerned about space, uh, this under quilt from Ayamaya is definitely gonna be very helpful because it does pack down relatively small and it comes in at, I believe, two pounds. The information should be right about here. Um, 
So it comes in about two pounds. All the specs for this particular underquilt will be in the in the links down below. All right, so let's talk performance, right? So first of all, the underquilt's made of a 20D uh, nylon water resistant outer lining and the inside is made of polyester. It has about 300 grams uh, per square inch of uh, uh, cotton filled. So this particular underquilt is cotton filled. Now, it has a temperature rating of minus 14, all right, degrees Fahrenheit. And that is pretty damn low if you wanna think about it. Um, I've camped in 20 degree weather with uh, sleeping pads and uh, sleeping bags inside hammocks. And let me tell you, that's pretty cold. So for this to actually get down into those temperature ranges is amazing. Now I had a chance to take this out uh, on my last trip and sleep in it. The weather got down into the uh, low 40s, high 30s, and I was absolutely comfortable inside that. The comfort rating inside uh, this particular thing is anywhere between 20 to 25 degrees and up. Now again, how hot do you wanna be inside your hammock? That's kind of up to you. I can take this under quilt out with me. It packs up very tight and is very portable. I can bring it along with my hammock and I can string it up just about anywhere without concern of having to be uh, cold or uncomfortable as the day into night progresses. So performance wise, man, I'm super impressed with it, honestly. Um, it didn't, uh, it didn't uh, have any cold spots that I, that I could feel or that I was uh, concerned with. It, it didn't uh, sag or, or lose its position. Uh, as uh, the night or the day went on and I was just laying in it very comfortably so overall impression of it is definitely good now Ayamaya is available uh, this underquilt is available on Ayamaya and you can see the link down below uh, they're on Amazon and for the cost your it's stream you know underquilts uh, just like sleeping bags their prices vary so you can get something uh, relatively inexpensive to something absolutely outrageous in cost. So it's kind of up to you. Some of these underquilts can actually push you into a winter season, but if I were to use this in combination with a sleeping pad, I could easily get into zero degree weather without having to do too much to my backpacking system um, for those kind of temperatures. This underquilt does come in various sizes on Amazon. So if you have a larger hammock, because this is actually considered a double uh, hammock, they do uh, have a double or an extended wider uh, underquilt available. Also for those hammocks that have the uh, canopy poles, like, uh, like the other one that I had the other day, where it has the net and everything else around it. So they do have that available. Um, that is actually something I'm actually really considering on getting because uh, having a, a, a larger underquilt uh, for my Jeep will actually uh, be a much better for emergency situations. All right, so I'd like to thank I and Maya for giving me a chance to test out this underquilt. I was actually very uh, impressed with its performance. Uh, I keep this in my Jeep now at all times because I actually keep a hammock in my Jeep all the time. I keep a few things inside my Jeep at all times. Right here, you see my underquilt slash emergency blanket. I have my uh, hammock recovery gear and also a first aid kit with a trauma kit. So at all times, I have something for an emergency situation that I keep in my Jeep at all times. So again, hey, if you've followed along this far, I'd really appreciate if you go ahead and smash that like button and think about subscribing because more future videos will be coming out with gear and other things. And I appreciate you being here. This is Russell with Dawn to Dust. I'll see you on your next adventure.